took both games today. Just how do you feel like the team did overall? Good. We won two games. That was the goal. They did it. You know, I was proud of the team that I coached. They, they did a nice job and and um, fighting a lot of, of tough adversity. And it, it was good to uh, good to see them do that. What goes into the preparation for a day where you're able to win a series in a span of seven hours? I mean, we, we prepare all week. You know, I mean, in, in terms of the preparation that goes into a week, it's pretty immense. I mean, it's a lot. But, you know, the guys played well. Um, I don't think it was perfect or clean or anything like that. It's a real challenge when the conditions were the way they were. Um, so to come out with two wins when, when the conditions were like they were is, is really good. I think you're able to counterpunch, too, whenever they... Whenever they scored, it seemed like you guys were able to answer for the most part and feel good about yeah. the response that way. Yeah, I mean, clutch with Chase Maggers getting that hit at the end. I thought that was really big. Um, we had a chance to tack on and add on, I thought, um, a couple other times and, and might have come up a little short with that. But, you know, there was some gritty at-bats for us to be able to get to that point, which was good. And I thought that Chase, is, is, his extension of the lead was a, at a critical time. What do you think of Grayson today? Goes six, a lot of seven hits, but keeps guys from scoring only one in. Really good, you know, really good. And and he was able to control the running game, which is what Utah, one of Utah's strengths. Um, and so for him to kind of take the steam out of that, um, you know, a lead helps too uh, when it comes to taking um, the steam out of somebody's running game. So, you know, having a lead and then having Grayson do what he did, I thought he pitched exceptionally well and then brought more coming in and doing what he did, he's doing now lately is, is really, I mean, that's, that's not easy to pitch in, in a driving rainstorm for either side, and, and uh, I was proud of our guys for doing that. Just the, just the one run from the bullpen today in the two games combined, what did you see from your relievers today? A lot of strikes, a lot of toughness. Brock said, you know, two of those performances this week, or earlier against Oregon State, just how do you feel like he's kind of coming into a groove here after dealing with the injury earlier in the year? Yeah, I mean, you know, he's, he's come back from being on the DL uh, really well, and so it's good to have him, and it's good to have – you know, we didn't use Jackson Jordan today. He was he was clearly available, and uh, that's good to have him for tomorrow, um, as well as as basically um, a couple other fresh pieces down there tomorrow. And so, you know, we should have some bullets left for the final game. Obviously, you want to go into Sunday with a chance to sweep. You've been kind of looking for, for your team to take advantage of an opportunity in that situation. Just how eager are you to see how your guys respond tomorrow and, and, and try to go about finishing this off? Well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what the response is. You know, we've had. We've had it teed up a couple of different times this year, and and, um, and we haven't been able to get them to uh, to, to pull that off. Um, you know, I think Arizona, we had an opportunity to sweep them, and, and we, we weren't able to pull that off, um, and maybe a couple other times. And, and so, you know, we'll see. I know the first weekend of the year at the at the Arlington tournament, we had a chance to sweep through that tournament, and that, that would have been awful, awfully fun, and we were in the position to do that, and weren't able to do it. So, um, you know, two out of three, can't grumble about it, but, you know, I'd like to see this this group continue to grow and be able to, to finish off something like that. With that opportunity, what are you looking for specifically from Kevin tomorrow? Well, I mean, what he's done lately has been plenty good enough. I mean, a lot of strikes, you know, uh, throwing multiple pitches for strikes and being composed. You know, he's he's had a lot of success because he's pitched old. He's probably going to have to deal with some stuff again tomorrow, from what I understand. I mean, this storm just kind of sit in the valley to, uh, for the last several days, and it is what it is. And so, you know, our credit to our grounds crew for, for them to be able to keep us playing uh, injury free, no slips on the mound. You know, both pitchers from both or the pitchers from both sides were able to throw and, and pitch effectively. And really, overall, it was a clean game, to be honest. And so, uh, credit to both teams. They played pretty clean baseball for, for uh, as sloppy of a day it was. Coach Weather, I can't let you go without asking your thoughts on Van Sickle. The way you guys handled him today and, uh, you know, getting a W, giving him his first W or his first loss of the year, I should say. Boy, it's a good question. You know, he's really good. And I think he was probably one of the most underrated uh, pitchers, maybe even in the country. I don't know, but I sure haven't seen any articles written on the guy. And that guy is just good. You know, I mean, he's a 90 to 92 mile an hour lefty. Sometimes he goes down to 87, but I think he does that intentionally and changes speeds on his fastball. His breaking ball is a really sharp breaking ball, and his and his uh, change is a really effective pitch as well. He's composed. You know, uh, Labette County Community College. Not many probably uh, know where that is, but that kid is a tough kid. Um, and to be able to beat that guy, uh, that that's something that's really special. You know, he's he's a tough pitcher, and when you know we we knew he was going to be tough coming in. Coach Henderson done a, uh, Coach Henderson's done a tremendous job with this Utah club. You know, these guys can really pitch, and and he's got a lot of bullets down there. And his bullpen's fresh. He's actually got a couple of really big pieces in his bullpen, and they're fresh for tomorrow. 
you feel like you guys are starting to find a little bit of a rhythm offensively? I think you're probably going to say. I didn't so. feel, I, you know, I didn't feel like the last, uh, the, you know, today was a rhythm day at all. I think that was just a toughness day. I don't think it was much of a rhythm. It felt really kind of clunky to me. Uh, I didn't feel like it was a it was a deal where guys were really getting into an offensive uh, rhythm or, or any kind of rhythm. It was just a clunky day, but probably just because of, of the way it was outside. What's it mean for you guys again? Like you pointed out, you know, Van Sickle, you, you're in you know, five run runs. It's the most he's allowed in conference play. Even though it wasn't a rhythm day, it was. I feel like to have an offense that will still go through and put up runs and give you two wins. Uh, good. You know, I mean, that's the objective of the day is to get the wins, and we were able to do it. With conference realignment being a big topic across all sports, what's it kind of like for you as a coach to get your last look at some of these Pac-12 teams? Well, I think we'll continue to play some of these Pac-12 teams. I mean, I sure don't want to stop playing against Oregon State. There's no reason why we should. It's a, it's great for the fans. It's great for the people. Uh, it's great for competition. You know, I mean, I want to play against the best. And so if Utah continues to grow their program, boy, I'd love to be able to play against Utah. You know, and, and uh, if Arizona or Arizona State are the best, and boy, I'd love to play against them too. Whoever the best are, we, we, want, to, we want to try to compete with those people. And I, I think the West Coast has gotten knocked a little bit for the balance, the competitive balance that you see on the West Coast. And I just don't, I don't think that's right. But again, you know, it's just one man's opinion. Everybody's got them. And so my opinion is there's a lot of really good baseball on the West Coast. And, uh, and I think it shows when you show up to the ballpark and you see the quality of play, uh, it, you know, throughout the, the conference, even all the way down to last night's ball game where Arizona State beats Washington. Well, that was a heck of a ball game. And, uh, and those are two really good teams, even though they, uh, you know, a lot of people have, have not talked much about those guys either. We, we talk a lot about Bryce Besser, and, and rightfully so, but what's it kind of been like the last couple of days to have him as a guy who's you know, leading your offense out of the out of the eight hole, out of the nine hole, wherever he is in the order? Well, in the day, I don't think he, he he didn't have any, you know, in the second game, he didn't have any real big hits, but he, he was able to advance a runner with a sacrifice bunt that ends up scoring uh, one of the, the insurance runs we've already talked about. He's a, he's a team player. He's doing everything that he can to help your team win. He didn't really get challenged in the outfield at all. I think in the first game he might have robbed another home run, uh, which is, I mean, you know, another home run. I don't know how many home runs he's robbed. It's crazy. But, I mean, the kid is a worker, and he does it. I mean, the most amazing thing isn't what he does on game day. It's what he does on practice days. I mean, to see that kid on the football field when I've gone out and watched Coach Lanning's football practices and what he does out there, and then on the same day come out and do the things that he does on the baseball field is really something that I, I can't get my brain around, and I'm sure a lot of the other athletes that are his teammates probably go, wow, this is crazy.